Giving hope, giving light, bringing peace to our world. And this is the real movement. Hello, friends. It's such a joy to be with you again, just to even come into your space at this time. I'm excited at the feedback that I get from viewers, the letters, encouraging messages. Some say, you know, they've been healed. Another would say um, their lives have totally changed, you know, while watching. Um, many would say um, they never missed this show. And that is why at this time, you shouldn't watch it alone. Send a message to a friend, to someone, tell them to tune into this station right now or just to get on the space and you know be part of the blessing of this amazing episode i have a guest in the house so sit back and i'll be back right after this Welcome back. I have with me an amazing guest in the house. She's, um, what do I say? Okay, her name is Joko Tade. <laughs> and, you know, she's an amazing woman. She has, you know, a lot of wisdom. She's anointed. She's a very creative person. And I trust that even as we begin to discuss today on the woman's healing the healing of a woman's soul, you know, just how the woman gets strength back from all the juggling and living every other person's life, mm. but yours. Mm. And if you're there watching, you know, the woman, please don't tune off, stay in there because you need this also. So you can know how to support your mom, your sister, that woman in your life. Mm. So you can always say, Hey, you know what? I think you need a break. I think you need to pause. So don't say this is women only. Mm. All right. Joker Tade, yes. the Houston-based lady. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you're in the studio with me today. Here in Atlanta, you came all the way so we could have this. Welcome. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where do we start from? The woman. I her soul, her, hmm. you know, just being all over the place. Um, how do we help her? How do we, you know, how what tips do we have for women right. out there mm. to get themselves together, right. to pay attention to their wellness, right. and not just living life for every other person? Because yep. we know as women we juggle a lot. Oh, yes. The children, the sister, even the single woman. It, that's that's the one the parents usually even look to. Do yes. this for me. Do that. Exactly. You know. Yes. And all that. I mean, it's not just about married women, single women to get really busy. Because I, I think some women. people feel like, because you're single, you have free time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so people will load you up with stuff. Yep. Yep. So what, I, what, what tips do you have, advice for our viewers? I think I want to share some of my experiences. Okay. I, because many times when uh, those of us that have the privilege or the opportunity to be in the limelight a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people tend to think our lives are perfect, perfect. <laughs> and you know everything is going Can and imagine. I get so many people writing me, how do I do this? You always seem so put together. <laughs> and sometimes I wish I, I I could just yell at them and say, no, it's not <laughs> it's quite not that like way. That. And I want to share how many times mm. as a woman I felt very lonely. Mm. I'm married. Yeah. I have people that love me, I yeah. am blessed to do the work I love, yeah. I have the opportunity of serving others, but I get very lonely. There, mm. there are days that I just want yeah. to go lock myself up <laughs> because I feel I'm drowning. Tell in me my, about I feel it. like I'm, I'm trying to catch up with my own life. life. You know, I'm constantly running and, you know, the other day I was telling my, my little girl, my five-year-old, like, 
can you just be quiet? Mommy needs to think. I need to just Give think a for little like bit of just space. two minutes. Can we? Mommy just needs to think. And then sometimes I just feel like, where do I go? Who can understand me? And I look at my husband and I'm like, I don't even know where to start because I'm thinking he won't even understand <laughs> how I feel. And we hear a lot about women having facing depression mm. or a new it's mom facing thoughts, depression, so, yeah. suicidal thoughts. And I think the first thing we want to establish is let this, the woman watching us right now that she's not alone. Yeah, that, that, I think that's so key. That's and, so key. and that alone brings alone. comfort to, mm. to another woman when yes. she feels she's not alone. alone. <laughs> you know, If you feel that way, if I feel that way, there are tons of women all over the world that feel, feel this way. what do we do? So first of all, you're not, you're alone. not the only one. You're not the only one. Good. And for all of us, probably most of us, it's still a struggle. Yes. I am still struggle. trying to figure out my life. Yep. I, I'm still trying to find my yep. way. Yep. And yep. I will tell you that one quick tip right off the bat mm-hmm. that helps me yeah. is accepting that I can't do everything. That's it. Just knowing that can't I'm not everything. superwoman. I, I act like it, but... I'm not superwoman. I cannot do everything. I cannot be perfect. I cannot be 500% to everybody 500% of the time. That means we should be humble and accept. Just humility. I like that. Humility. Just humble enough to say, I Look, can't do it all. This is who I am. I can't do it all. And I always like to say that no is a complete sentence. <laughs> Use it gracefully. <laughs> I like that. No is a complete Use sentence. Use it gracefully. I like that. Because if like not, that. you say yes to this, yes, 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 yes. And to learn not to put ourselves under pressure. Right. Under pressure. You can right. say, well, at this time, I won't be able to honor this, or I won't right. be able to, maybe some other time. Right. So you've said a no. Yes. Without, Absolutely. you know. And it's so good what you said at that starting point, like you're not alone. Yes. Accept that you can't do it alone. And I would add this and say, be intentional. Mm. We're intentional. Mm. So when you see Joko Tade mm. on her Instagram mm. or my Instagram, because <laughs> yes. that's the end thing, you yes. know, um, we're being intentional. Yes. We are being intentional. We don't even need to talk about how we're feeling right now, mm. how our bodies might be feeling, yes. how what transpired before getting here. The thing is we're on the set now yes. and we're delivering yes. and helping someone out there. Yes. And everything looks picture perfect. Yes. But it doesn't mean that everything is perfect. Yes. So you're looking and say, do these women have stress? <laughs> you know, they are goals. Mm. But hey, the things we can't say, you can't say everything here. But yeah. the thing is, We've been intentional. You yes. do it in spite. Yes. But then you find time. Right. You right. find time right. for yourself. Yes. So that you don't feel like running away. I, the things you shared earlier on, it happens to me as well. We are very similar. You know, I just feel like, can I just go away somewhere? Okay. Can I just leave you people <laughs> run, run away, away from for just five minutes? And so sometimes really... We need to run away, yeah. but not running away like out of desperation and just walking away, yes. but to plan that getaway. Run away. Let's talk about that. Plan the getaway. Let's talk about that. As almost say, I can't afford that. a getaway. A getaway may be a getaway into your, a getaway like you're going to the next block. Yes. Your getaway may be like you told your daughter two minutes. Yes. I think two minutes was too small. <laughs> she just like give you 15 Let's or 30 minutes. Let's play the quiet minutes. game. <laughs> I was like, you know what, go and play alone. Yes. One minute is just 15 minutes. Yes. And you might just need that 15 minutes just to nap yes. or read a book. Yes. And then she comes, wakes, wakes you up and yes. says, it's 15 minutes. Yes. And like, you have a little bit of energy. Right. Right. And then she will understand. That way you are teaching her. Mm. Because she's also a little girl who yes. grew up to be a woman. Yes. That way you are teaching her as well. That right. is okay as right. you grew up to say, give me 15 right. minutes. Right. I want to share a couple of practical mm. steps that I've taken to accomplish this particularly to the women who still have growing children. Ah, well. Growing children, because I still have growing... You, your yeah. children are all grown, but I still yeah, have growing children. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, some phases. of the things I've learned to do is set up some form of operational schedule yeah, for my children. So I don't let them go to sleep whenever they want to go to sleep. I know. I, I try to get them <laughs> in bed by 8.39 so that I can have a few hours of me.
I think even if you're not a woman that has little children, yeah. if you're just an unmarried woman, these are good habits to start accommodating to your life yeah. right now because yeah. th there will come a time you won't have room to start so, figuring out so how do I do this yeah. so creating good healthy spaces, spaces for, healthy for spaces. yourself you know I, I think it's that. key I mm. pray over my space I mm. when when I every new car I get mm. I haven't had many but the few I've had once I have the car, I pray that it's God's sanctuary. <laughs> when I come into my car, I can pray, I can worship. Uh, you know, it's it's. And many of us spend hours of our lives in in true. in, in our traffic, cars. traffic. In you know, maximize that. Space. Absolutely. Don't always be. Don't on the always phone. be. Why did you took the words out of my mouth? I was just going to say, don't be. <laughs> apart from the traffic rules that you're not meant to be. Driving I mean, here in Georgia, there are strict rules about that, you you know, but again, there's hands-free and yes. they're like, but many of us, that's the time we feel, that call I'm supposed to return, that, you know, so you put it on the hands-free, you're driving and you're talking, talking. because yes. you want to make up for time, yes. you know, you want to, but again, maybe that's just the time to, you know, slot in a CD or you have, you know, your favorite music from your phone connected and you're you know mm -hmm. so you're not like oh traffic mm -hmm. i need to get to the mall groceries I'm, no enjoy that traffic yes. <laughs> isn't it yes yeah and have thought time thought. thinking thinking time. thinking time i'm a creative like you said mm. and i i get a lot of new ideas, ideas from just the quiet space being able to be quiet and listen for ideas, yep. new ideas, yep. how to take something that already exists and, and make, it, make it into new. And so Same. if I'm always on the phone, I wouldn't receive won't those ideas. Receive, yeah. I wouldn't hear. I wouldn't hear. And I think the more quiet we are, the more we make room for God to speak to us. Yes. The more we make room. The more we're even inspired. We're more inspired. Yeah. By we every get purged. day. We get purged of noise. we see things that... That's when you see, oh, I didn't know this flower was growing here. Exactly. Because you never saw it. You were like yeah. rushing out yeah. on the phone. You're going to the car. You're, you know. But then you see that, and it's always been there. Yeah. And you're inspired. So he says, stop. Right. They say stop to smell the roses. Yes, indeed. Literally. Stop. Pause. Yeah. Going into this year, the Lord just gave me this word, um, rest and create. Oh, beautiful. I know I did a quote card for it, posted on Instagram, rest and create. And I also heard something about um, the reset, you know, reset, you know, press the reset button. But rest and create, that was very, and so the more rested I am, and it's even in that time coming into this year that I created this studio. Mm. I had my studio elsewhere before. Right. There's a studio in Lagos, Nigeria, so sometimes you see me on a different set. Yes. Or here in Atlanta, I think, let me just create, you know, and Something that different. came out of that. Yeah. Got the pieces yes. together, yes. being also some form of creative person, a yes. little bit of an interior, you know, put yes. the pieces together, and here we are shooting. Yes. If I didn't rest or pause, I may mm -hmm. not have known that I could do that from this space yes. and just, you know. Yes. I'll be worried about, okay, how do I get to that, my other studio? Right. And I'm not traveling there in a while, you know, that, there was that stress. Yes. <laughs> but I thought, right from here. Yes. And like you said, turning an old space into, into something yes, new. Yes, yes, yes. So women, please, yes. don't kill yourself. <laughs> don't die before your time. <laughs> rest yeah. pause, pause along the way yes. we know it's a lot yes. and it's okay to say no yes. graciously yes. when you need to yes. we when i used to be a, um someone that didn't want to say no mm. <laughs> but i'm i'm yeah. i'm getting better at yes. it now yes. why don't we sometimes want to say no because we don't want to offend anyone why don't you want to offend anyone because that way? When you know you're not offending them, you're not killing them, you're not stealing their money or whatever, yeah. you're not gossiping about them. Right. So why did you want to offend them that way and you would offend yourself? You want what me? is the responsible for that? You know what, you know, if you want me to be honest... I know what I want to say, but I want it to come from you. My insecurities. Uh -huh. my, that's, that's real truth. It's my our insecurities. insecurities. Yes. Wanting to be liked. Yes. Wanting to be seen as... That was my my own challenge. Wanting to be seen as this very nice person. Not wanting to be rejected. Yeah, not wanting to be rejected. Oh, she's so nice. And 
but you're rejecting yourself yep you're rejecting yourself and that means you're also sinning but mm. you're sinning against yourself mm. so you're taking it all in so after a while it becomes a facade it becomes a learned thing it becomes this is how they know me to be mm. And that can be very dangerous yes. in the long run. Even up to standards. Yes, that others have set. Yes. So I think that's why it's a say no graciously. Yes. Like, this wouldn't work for me. And sometimes it may look hard, especially mm-hmm. if you're coming from someone that's been known to be soft or nice mm-hmm. or mushy. Mm-hmm. Not all women are like that. Yeah. Some are very, I mean, from time they are known to be very straight cut blonde straight you know <laughs> so even the day there where they'll be like people will be like oh today you're soft you know yeah. but those of us who love love mm-hmm. who love love you know and yeah. again what is the definition of love mm-hmm. love is not always all hugs mushy and everything yes. love is boundaries yes. love is speaking the truth yes. which may not be convenient yes. but in our mind we have this idea that yes. oh love is you know yes. cute and yes. <laughs> love yes. is jesus going into the temple with the whip Yes, 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 yes. And beating people and say, get out of here. Yes, yes, You've turned this yes. place into what it's not. not supposed to be. And, and scripture and still say, love. there's a time for everything. In, in mm. Ecclesiastes 3, yes. there's a, the wise man wrote about uh, allocations. That <sighs> this particular time, there's a time for this. And there's a time Draw for Draw close, this. there's a time yes. to stay away. In other words, there's a time for yes and there's a time, time for, for no. no. There is a time for that. And for the woman listening, she's probably thinking, but where do I even start from? Mm. It starts from today, today, this very moment. This very moment. Choosing to say, you know, I'm just going to say no. And be and receiving courage to deal with courage. the consequences. Oh. Courage. Courage. Yeah. Courage. Courage. Wow. <sighs> Friends, we'll be back right after this. Welcome back. Still talking about wellness for the woman, healing your soul, finding time for yourself, being courageous enough to say no (laughs) graciously, putting boundaries and not being all over the place for everybody else until there's nothing left of you. Um, Stopping to smell the roses, stopping to pause and think, meditate. You know and enrich your soul Mm. and we just have a few more tips before we round up today's episode and it's letting go of offenses Mm. let go Um, forgive I know it's it's difficult for many of us and depending on the issue depending on the wrong Mm. some are minor things some are major Mm. and it's hard but have you seen this that when we harbor unforgiveness goes into bitterness it affects the buoyancy of our soul it's like we're carrying a weight in us and that's why we're drowning we're drowning and don't think you're punishing the person that offended you one the person may not know the person might know and has said sorry the person may not even have said sorry but mm-hmm. you need to just release it for your own wellness yes. and for your own health yes. let go of every sin every weight yes. that that you know weighs you down mm-hmm. let it go courageously mm-hmm. you know ask the lord if it's difficult help me mm-hmm. To let go of this offense, to let go of this person, I want to walk free. Yeah. You know. Can we talk about that? And the reason I say that is, for there are people like you and me that we we tend to always want to be happy. We want people to be happy. We're <laughs> trying to please people, so we're yeah. a happy camper. We're yeah, a happy camper. camper. But I find that for me, because I'm a happy camper, when I do get hurt, I get deeply yeah, hurt, yeah. and it's a struggle for me. Yeah, it really is a struggle. So. For me, I find that it's 
tough for me on my own mm. to let go easily. Yes. That's me. I find yeah. that it's tough. So yeah. I find that the way for me to navigate that, because mm. I'm, I'm kind of in a dilemma. Mm. I know unforgiveness is not good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm also hurting. And, yeah, and I, I'm deep in there, I want to hold on to my hurt <laughs> because this person really did this, particularly if it's a spouse, mm. you know, mm. if it's somebody like really I'm close. Gonna hold on to this. You, you want to hold on to it as leverage. You yes. Know? But <laughs> you feel it gives you a little power. Power, like... <laughs> Do you know what you have done to me? <laughs> you know, so so I find that the way I've been able to navigate those tough circumstances yeah. is to cry out for help, help and say and say, Lord, help, help me, me forgive this person because in, in my, my own state, strength I, I don't I want cannot, to yeah. and I cannot. And and so I just just there and even when I don't feel like you know, God, just help me, help me forgive, help, help me. me for me, for me, and more importantly because I love God. And yes. I want to please him. him. I say, Lord, help me to because forgive. I have human limitations. Yes. And the fact of the matter is, mm. what this person did to me is so grievous. It's so deep. Yeah, and, deep. and I don't even know if they understand, understand what they've the done to me. So, Lord, you help me. Yeah. And I find that it. it and he helps. does come through. And it also comes with time and space. Time, yeah. Give yourself some room. For healing to come into to your happen. body. If you have a headache. Because it doesn't always happen overnight. It doesn't. It doesn't. If yeah. you have a headache and you take your medication, it doesn't leave your body yeah. just like yeah. that. It takes so, a wow. little bit. So for me, my medica- medication is God's word. Yeah. Allowing the spirit of God to to settle into me in this area. Yes. Holy Spirit, help me. I'm it's really struggling. It's medicine to us. So. Yes. And then it starts going into every area of the body. That's so practical. So yeah. there, there it is. Yeah. You just have to, you know, um, wait it out. Yes. And trust God. If it doesn't go immediately, trust Him yes. again. Yes. On Keep and asking. on. Until yeah. it's done with. Yeah. Well, it's been amazing. Yes, this has been I great. know that you have been blessed by this session because it's been very practical today. Mm. It's been, I know, life-changing because we have come acknowledging that we struggle with these things as well. We struggle with these things as well, Mm. saying no um, and, and just doing things that we know we're supposed to do, not holding on forever because we want to look good. Um, so we're not to please people at the expense of pleasing God mm. or at the expense of our own souls. Mm. We should not do these things and damage our own esteem, mm. no. Mm. Because, I'll quickly say this, um, if you have young people around you, your children or younger people, they are watching. Yes. And they're seeing your practices and yes. they're thinking that is the way to go. So mm. you need to let them know that it's okay mm. to have your space. Mm. It's okay to tell people like, okay, I need this space at this time. I'll get back to you. Mm. Not saying yes, 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 all the time. Even Jesus of the time, he told his disciples, look, your time is mm. all of the time. My time is not every time. Mm. There's a time for everything. Yes. So, friends. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back, friends. I just want to take time to just pray and agree with that person watching. I don't know what state you are in right now, what the state of your heart is, your soul. You might be totally um, um, spent. You might be totally frazzled. You may feel your life is out of control at this point in time. But you can see now from what we have shared and from our discussion that you need to get your life back in order Mm -hmm. and you don't even know where to start from. We've shared so many tips, but you really feel you need God's help. I would like to pray with you. Heavenly Father, thank you because you've been part of this conversation. You watch over us. You see us here. You see the viewers 
each and every one you know by name and even you know the number of the hairs on the head so lord i bring my viewers before you especially the ones that are struggling right now that lord you will invade their hearts and their lives that you will give them that strength you will give them the comfort that you will be the healing balm right now god for them to pick up their lives and begin from somewhere to begin to rearrange and reorder and begin to get rid of negative habits that have not been helping them thank you lord for helping them and giving them strength to forgive as well mm. and let go of those who have offended them. Mm. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's about all the time we have for now. Till I come your way again, keep shining. God bless you.